Hey everyone, Chrissy at Pinnovate. This tutorial is for the cutest little string art heart. In your kit, you're going to get a wooden block, a stencil, nails, paint, paintbrush, sandpaper, and string. The only other things that you're going to need would be a hammer and some scissors. So the first step of your project is with your sandpaper and your block, you're just going to sand your edges, make sure everything is nice and soft to the touch and that there's no little splinters coming off. Okay, so my board is all sanded, all the edges are soft to the touch and I'm ready to paint. So for our paint, you do have two options. You can actually use your paint exactly how it is and do a nice solid coat on your board. But I'm gonna show you an alternate option. This is where we're gonna actually thin it out with some water. And this is gonna be more of a wash and you're going to see the wood grain underneath. So all you're going to do is add some water to your paint and give it a really good mix. Make sure that's all mixed up. All right, we are ready to paint. So before you paint, make sure that you have your area all prepped. Have a garbage bag or some paper towels nearby so you're ready. Uh, sometimes people like to use gloves when they're painting so they don't get their hands messy, but I like to get messy, so uh, here we go. So if you're just using your paint, you're just gonna give it a nice thin coat. Make sure you get the edges and make sure that it dries. For the wash, if you've added water to your paint, uh, we're going to add it on. This is going to be similar idea to a stain where we're going to put a coat on and then wipe it off. So we want this to be nice and thin so we can still see the grain in the wood and then just give it a wipe. And you can continue to add your layers until you have the color or shade that you would like. and be sure to get your edges as well. We're gonna let that dry before we move on. Once your board is totally dry, we're ready to move on. So you're going to take your stencil, center it on your board. I like to add a little bit of tape just to make sure that it's not going to shift while I'm nailing. And now, we're ready to nail. So grab your hammer and grab your nails. We're gonna go directly right through each one of these holes onto the board. You don't need to mark them out or anything. When you're nailing, you want to have your nail about halfway down to make sure that it's not going to wiggle and come out. And if your nail happens to tip to the side, just give it a little tap, tap, tap straight up again. And have fun. All right, so I'm all finished my nailing. One last thing is have a look at it from an angle. Make sure that they're all roughly about the same height. It's much easier to string when they're the same height as opposed to being really tall and really short. So once you're done your nailing, you're going to pop off your stencil and you can just pull it right off. All right, we are set to string now. So the first thing we need to do is to tie our string onto the very top there. So to do this, we're going to make a little loop. I call it a little lasso. We're going to lasso that top nail, give it a pull and make a double knot. And then you can leave that tail out for a little bit. Now with the heart shape, there is potential that you could accidentally be, nail be stringing on the outside of the nails. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to to cause any problem. So what I'm gonna do is actually go all the way around the outside one time and then loop around this center nail. So now I have the shape of my heart and I'm gonna keep my string on the inside of that so I won't go on the outside. When you're stringing, you can go from any nail to any nail. What you wanna do is you're gonna keep your string nice and tight and you're going to loop all the way around. Come up over here maybe down over this way, 
And every couple, make sure that you just loop around. That's gonna help prevent it from coming unraveled. But you wanna make sure that you get every nail and make sure that there's no empty spaces. So if you find a spot that's very, very, um, that doesn't have much string in it, make sure you go back and fill it in even more. Once you're happy with how you filled in your heart, we're gonna go around the outside just like we did at the beginning to give it a nice solid edge. So all you need to do is just follow the shape all the way around the outside. And then once you get to the top, you're going to wrap it around the top nail right at the very peak of that heart and all the way around and do this maybe three to five times. Once you're happy with your edge, cut a long tail at the bottom, and then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to make a little lasso, and you're going to place it at the very, very bottom nail, and pull nice and tight, and do that twice. Once that's tied off, you can trim your tails close to the nail, but you wanna leave a little bit of string there so it doesn't unravel on itself. Thank you so much for following along our string heart tutorial. Please follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, of course. And we would love to see your projects. So if you could tag us on Instagram at Pinnovate. Thanks so much.